Feeling that confident tonight, huh? Getting the killing cart. <laughs> Fill one of those tags tonight. Mm -hmm. You bring in your six arrow quiver, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to shoot one of those little bucks, but I wouldn't mind shooting one of them big does. <laughs> you know, and then waiting for a big buck. Especially after as much as they blew at us last night. Yeah, there's one I got a debt with. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So we're gonna go to where we saw those deer yesterday, and we're gonna go further back in. Um, I have to think we didn't see everything, and I have to think that there's probably a better buck back there somewhere, deeper in. Uh, hopefully we can get on something, get on some sign, um, get into some of the narrow pinches on that land bridge that goes into the swamp. I wouldn't mind shooting a deer on this trip, so maybe I'll take an adult doe, but I'm not going to shoot one of those little bucks. A uh, uh, nice caged animal comes in, I might take him, but uh, I'm not taking a little buck. It's exciting. After seeing what we saw yesterday, it should be fun back there. Joe wanted to go after the ones that uh, are showing up on that bean field. And I don't blame him. There's uh, three bucks that uh, him or Tim would shoot out in that field. And uh, it's kind of interesting that we're seeing that kind of action on field edge real close to a parking lot. Uh, be interesting to see how they do today. I would think with Saturday, the pressure's going to start ramping up. I'm kind of surprised here. Uh, here we sit, not a park, uh, car parked here. When we got here, there was one guy here, and he was just sighting his bow in. And there ain't nobody here. And it's uh, the first Saturday of the season. And look at all the deer we saw here yesterday. Let's Interesting. Yep. Let's go kill a couple of them. That was cool, eh? Mm -hmm. Looks like the coyotes caught it or something. Mm -hmm. They ate the whole chest out and uh, the internal organs. This is where they killed it. And they dragged it over there. Hard way to die. Mm -hmm. I'd rather die from an arrow. <laughs> Our tracks from yesterday are completely trampled by deer tracks. Look at these old historical rubs. They're not opened yet. But there's got to be some big box hole up back here if all the trees are marked like that. Those ones down there are marked like that too. Hopefully we find some fresh sign. But with the amount of deer out here, I'd have to think there's a good one, when you, especially when you see historical sign like that. Well, I can't believe that goes for such a long ways yet. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot could be better down in this stuff, you know? Kind of a flip of a coin whether we should go further, but we could hunt right in here. And then make an aggressive move even further tomorrow if we hunt tomorrow, right? I agree. I mean, we're... Because we got trails starting to come in from multiple ways and we can just cover everything right here. We're way past even where those does were blowing at us last night, you know? Right. And like it's water right back there. Wind's going to be kind of blowing out across it tonight. We'll right. get up in one of these trees on this side yep. of the trail. 
maybe right in that tangle there. Mm -hmm. And then we could we could shoot that, and if something did come out over here, we could still hit it. We could hit down into the swamp. Yep. Like right in that uh, that elm tree. Yep. Circle around this way so we don't get any scent any further than this. Let's do it. See how straps blowing around like this? Mm -hmm. I've had deer see that. What I like to do is take put it on the top. Just put it through here so it doesn't blow around, so they're kind of contained. All right, we're set up. We uh, studied the map and uh, went down this long point further down. Uh, we were ways back yesterday where we saw those deer. We moved in closer. I'm pretty confident we didn't bump anything. Uh, we got some crab apples beside us over here. Looks like bedding over here and some of the trails are coming out of there. Some of the trails are coming from over here and some right down the point. So we thought we'd give this a shot. I'm sure there's got to be something in here decent. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly where it's coming from. If this don't work, maybe we got to shoot down even further. This is a big, long point with uh, little bedding fingers dropping off everywhere. You know, based on the tracks and sign and stuff, I said there's got to be a good buck in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep hunting this property down from area to area to area until we get on that buck or we run out of time, whichever happens first. But it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's a small area. It's just a matter of hitting the right spot without spooking them. But we're going to just literally section this off. We've already taken care of the whole front of this property with earlier sits between me and Joe. And now we're just going to make it down to this point and we're going to cover every piece of dry ground and i'm pretty sure they're not in that water right now because it is really deep and all those beds are flooded back in uh, uh frag mites and cattails most guys would have probably went back to that same spot because all the deer we saw but i didn't see the deer i wanted to see and i'm pretty sure when the deer i wanted to see came through he figured out we'd been there by the smell and by the, the doe that snorted and you just got to keep moving to keep things fresh and um, it's a huge mistake to just go put a stand up and just keep going to it or rotate through it, in my opinion. I think big bucks, you gotta go hunt them down. And that's what we're doing, we're hunting them down. We're just gonna hunt right through this area until we run across them. Um, I don't plan on hunting here again, so it doesn't matter if I shoot a doe. Next time I'm moving in even further. We might get it done tonight. We took the cart with us because we're feeling confident. But after all the deer we saw yesterday, I think I got a reason to feel confident. Jake wanted me to address uh, where we're at with the bee sticks. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about them. I know the hunting public's been getting a lot of questions about them. And uh, we just got to order the sticks in. We're about to put them up for sale. They should be going up on sale in about a week. Uh, we just got to prep them for sale. So um, get ready, they're coming. We probably will sell out pretty quick. So hopefully everybody gets a chance that really wants them. Somebody left us a note. We were just parked in the public parking lot. Somebody left us a note. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's something not good. Nope, it is. Somebody's wishing us good luck. So, whoever that is, thank you. Hopefully, we can capitalize on it. We gotta find some buck sign though today, right now, because we ain't in it. Alright guys, we're heading in for our evening sit. Just wanted to let you guys know what we've been doing all day. Haven't haven't filmed a ton just because we've been scouting pretty much all day. Me and Aaron came down here to the spot we've been hunting most of the week and uh, haven't been on a ton of fresh buck sign. So that was pretty much the goal for today was find as much and as fresh buck sign we could. So we've just been running all over the place as fast as we can, and now we found some. Aaron came into this spot and uh, ended up finding a ton of fresh sign in here, like the freshest and most sign we've seen anywhere so far. And uh, but there was a bunch of tree stands around it. So now we are headed back in and gonna try and get set up in a good setup and. Hopefully you get one today.
Looks like they're hanging a the tree stand. We gotta, gotta get out of their hair. Yeah. Crockett squirrel under us, and like a second ago, there it goes. It was sitting right here. I think it was a record book squirrel, an eight pounder. Jays are going off back in there, back to the fire out and stuff. Yeah. You hear ducks quacking, and you hear beaver tails slapping, you know there's deer coming.
pianki. It's going to be a hard track job, it's just solid lake. <laughs> well, I'm still there eating. Alright, now let's get a buck, let's get serious here. <laughs> I'm hoping she's laying right out there. I think not like she went too far. Yeah, it looked like a double liner. That's just a jungle and it's all underwater. Might not have much of a blood trail, but we got a good direction. It's cool though. It's cool. I kind of thought they'd slip along that water. Uh -huh. You could grab another arrow in case a buck comes though. yesterday when that doe blew at me. She ain't doing that no more. through but nothing really other than that the neighbor guy started his mower has been mowing for the past hour about and uh, some of these car alarm got set off while we were sitting here too hopefully it's not Zach's car pretty uh, poor day pretty, pretty poor day yep. but full draw on a spike last night but nothing doing today nope Thank you. 
looks good. Freaking cold. Yeah, just. Ooh. Oh, here's a ton of blood right here. Lung blood floating. I bet she's real close to us then, because it sounds Remember just... when we heard her stopping and splashing right out of there? She is. Got her? Yep. Good deal. Floating blood trail. <laughs> See that? That's kind of weird. Oh, there is. Rear footage there, folks. Floating blood trail. So I see a doe laying right over here. I see her. I see her yeah. side there. Oh, well, it's gonna have to get too deep. That's not too bad. Just enough to go over my boots. Yeah. Yeah. To the kneecaps. What do you think? <laughs> That's a big doe. That's Jeez. a big doe, a big swamp creature, right? <laughs> swamp creature. <laughs> <laughs> just float her right out of here. That's the nice thing about it. Yeah, she will. She'll just float right out. She's floating now. All right, let's get to dry land. <laughs> <laughs> Me another one. <laughs> Full cart. <laughs> Deer down. Oh, that was fun. Big doe. I feel like that's an accomplishment. If I really want to see some antlers, it'd be nice. It is hard to yeah. find the bigger racks, but they're here. Yeah. There's sign, there's tracks, there's uh, old sign. Talking to the locals. The bucks are here, and it's just a matter of time and how much time you put into it. Coming to someplace new, and not seeing a, a trophy buck or a nice buck in a week is kind of expected. Um, I do think I do a little better on the road trips because I'm concentrating, but I've got a huge advantage back home where I'm scouted, you know. Um, but I think we're doing a good job of getting on deer. It's just a matter of uh, keep moving until we get on to big ones. Yeah. Dan and Jake are pulling in late. Must mean they've uh, got a story at least. You got something to show us? You you holding out on us or what? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Big old nanny goat. Good work, Dan. Yeah. Let's hear the story. You smell swamp? <laughs> yeah. Don't I was gonna say she, she looks a little wet. What's what's the deal? She died in the lake. <laughs> she died in the lake? Did yeah. he make you get it, Jake? Or? We had to go in after. I like the taste Good of job, brother. Much. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Michigan Nanner. 
It's one that was blown at us last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a marker on her I've been waiting for. <laughs> it was kind of funny because a bunch of them came through all at once. It's like this whole parade. Jake told me seven and a half times that you said it was bad luck to take that. No, the half because the last time I cut him off, I said I heard it enough. He might have eaten. I said I said I have bad luck taking it. He might I didn't even say it to you guys. Do you have to go swimming to get her? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm wearing aquariums right now. <laughs> Hear them? Well, there's plenty of those to go around out oh, yeah. there. Oh yeah, there sure is. You know all those dead fawns we've been finding along that dike? Yeah. There's a fresh one from last night there. Yep. We found a dead fawn too. Like, what's up with that? Recently, the coyotes ripped it to pieces. Chased it down, maybe? Yeah. It was yeah. a really small fawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. yeah. We found a dead one the other day too, close <laughs> to the river. Weird. Mm. Like, there's four, there's four dead fawns from this year laying along that dike. Yep. Kind of strange. Hmm. I wonder if they're losing some of their safety, like there's overcarrying capacity kind of thing because Could it's be. so wet. Could be. Pretty good night then. Yeah. Tim, yeah, it was good night. You almost got a buck, huh? Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you want to talk about it. <laughs> you missed or what'd you do? What no, happened? No. You want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. All right. Um, so Joe had me set up. Well, we actually both agreed on on the tree right on the edge. And the trail was literally seven yards. And he came down the trail seven yards. Really? Yeah. He, I actually thought he was broken on the one side when I first saw him, but I think he was just deformed. Okay. But uh, he came out and everything, and uh, the self-filming kind of got a, you know, a little ahead of me where I was more concerned about that, getting them on, on camera, making yeah. a good shot and everything. And I had my pin set for 30. And as, as I was about to draw, I remembered that. I, as I put down, he like looked up at me and then he got all spooky and everything and kind of wouldn't give me an opportunity to draw. And so uh, I seen a picture, was that parking lot completely full of people? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> where were they all? All by, back by you guys? Or? They were down in where they were yesterday. I believe, well, I don't know if it was the, the water or the pressure, the pressure is to the south. but they switched up. So okay. on the north probably, side, you think? I'm thinking so. Yeah. It is. Awesome. He wants to go home and go to bed, so he's <laughs> not going to do it until you sign his hat. Okay. <laughs> he's been waiting all night for you to come. And his dad might not have let him go home until he got to meet. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie yeah, gave him a go bed on this side of tethered the west. sweatshirt. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Ernie's a nice guy. Thank you, I appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you, sir. See, we I think we saw this. And <laughs> this part is very open. No problem. Sure we that. Did you enjoy it so around here? It's bad bad week. This little drawer. Oh, it's, it's fun. It's uh, always nice getting in a new area. I think it's taking a photo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank I you. appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, John. John. Yeah, you thank too. you for the books. Dan, it was a real pleasure. It's you got a lot bigger hand than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank you much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have a great one. You ready to find your way on it? Let's go straight this way. Nice to meet you Have guys. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck, anybody that goes out. Yeah, That's yeah. a wrap on the fifth day here in Michigan. It's Saturday night, and uh, part of the THP crew is leaving in the morning. The tethered guys are all leaving in the morning, but Ted still has a tag, and he'll be hunting. For another at least another day or two it sounds like Dan and Joe are hunting for another day or two so the crew is shrinking a bit but the challenge isn't quite over yet we're not quite done with these things see you guys tomorrow